What's going on guys? I got a pretty cool video for today. We're going to be making a team in NHL 22 based off the players I pull in these Tim Hortons hockey card packs. I actually made this video last year. You guys seem to really enjoy it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I actually pulled a card that was worth like $30. So hopefully we can have some luck today. I will say these Tim Hortons packs definitely aren't the cheapest. They only cost two bucks, but you're also only getting three players. So I don't know. It doesn't seem like the best deal to me, but if we get somebody good today, I'll be happy. So again, uh, the players we pull here, we're going to use to build a team. Hopefully we can get two goalies. If not, I'll just put in like the worst possible goalie we can at a backup or whatever. Um, hopefully too, not too many duplicates because I got seven packs. So that's 21 players. Basically, I got one extra guy for a duplicate or whatever. Um, so first card here is Tyler to Foley. I really like that one. We then get an NHL canvas for Trees Bergeron. Um, I feel like the canvas cards are actually pretty good. And then finally there we have a Philip Forsberg. So Honestly, that could be like a forward line right there. Hopefully not line one, but I feel like, you know, line two or line three, that's pretty solid. Opening up the next pack here, guys. I'm going to see if I can maybe uh, get like me opening it more in the camera. I probably should do like a lower camera for this. Aaron Eckblad is our first card there. We then have a golden uh, Kyle Connor. Very, very cool. I like the look of that one. And then Alexi Lafreniere, not a young gun. Uh, his young gun card last year, if you got that in the Tim Hortons pack, was actually worth quite a bit. Uh, so we do get a defenseman there, which is nice. Uh, we still need five more, otherwise we're going to have some forwards on D. Just ripped up in the next pack for you guys, I see a Leon Dreis saddle. So, uh, potential first line center. I really like this next card. Hockey Heroes Dylan Larkin. Wow, it's like horizontal. Look at that. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell. It's kind of like glossy, shiny. Uh, I'm just going to put that one right up there because that is really cool. Um, he's got like, the headshot below. Wow, I might... Uh, I'm going to keep this one for sure. I think that is a very sharp looking card. We also got Miko Ranton in there as well for their final pull. Real quick guys, I want to thank Bounty Sports for sponsoring today's video. They're a daily fantasy sports platform that's switching things up with a simple and easy to use pick em style opposed to the regular fantasy lineup. I find their method a lot easier to win and honestly I've been enjoying it so far. Signing up is really easy, it takes about 10 seconds and if you use my code TACTICS you'll actually get $5 for free, no deposit necessary, so without spending a dime you can potentially win some big prizes. Now once you guys have your $5 you want to choose a contest to enter. You can see here they have a variety of sports but obviously I'll be going with NHL. You also have a bunch of different entry fees ranging from $3 to $30 and prizes there from $45 to $810. I think there was an NFL one on the front page I saw almost 2000 so there can be some really big prizes i'm just going to keep it simple here with the five dollar nhl pick them so it's really easy guys they're going to have some games from that night you can see here eight games total you're going to choose who you think is going to win each game the favorite only gives you one point the underdog gives you more than one you try and get the most total points starting off here guys game one florida's undefeated so the fact that they're the underdog i think makes me have to pick them i really like the jets over the sharks especially as the underdog i think the jets are a much better team devil's penguins that's probably 50-50. Penguins are at home, but again, I think the Devils there. The Red Wings, Leafs, <laughs> this is a tough one. I feel like the Leafs probably win. You can see that they are, you know, quite favored. The Red Wings give you 2.2 points. My favorite team. I feel like it's worth the risk to try and, you know, double up. Uh, Chicago, St. Louis. I like St. Louis at home for that one. Colorado, Minnesota. I also like Colorado being the Minnesota Wild at home. Um, I like Edmonton there over the Canucks. I actually like the Flyers over the Flames, especially at 1.38. And if I go to the bottom here, you'll see my maximum points are 10.2, so... Hopefully I do you know, get that 10.2 because if I do, I'm definitely going to be in the money. I'll actually show you guys. So the NHL pick them here, prize pool, $225. First place gets you 50 bucks. Um, prizes placed all the way to 10th. Again, there's only 50 people being entered. So 20% chance to be in the money. So if you guys are interested at all, click the link in the description box below and use my code TACTICS for a free $5 when you sign up. Again, no deposit necessary. Highly recommend giving Bounty Sports a try. Now guys, let's get back to the video. All right guys, next one here. I see we have a defenseman. Got it spoiled a little bit. Um, Charlie McAvoy. That was actually not even the guy I saw, but Charlie McAvoy. He'll up with the defense as well. Um, Superstar Showcase, Patrick Kane. Okay, really cool looking card. Again, guys, if you know any of these are worth a lot of money, let me know because honestly, I have no idea. And then the guy I saw originally was Ty Smith. So uh, we actually have some D-man now, which is nice. Uh, still three more packs to go. Is this a dry settle three? Let's go with the, that one there, the one in the middle. Hopefully, um, we can get a goalie. I don't think we've actually gotten a goalie yet. So, we might be rocking, like, literally, whoever the worst real goalie is in the game, we'll use him. Probably, like, a 50. Uh, we got Elias Lindholm here. Pretty versatile player. Can play center or wing. NHL canvas, Patrice Bergeron. I think we got that in the first pack. That's a duplicate. And then uh, Pavel Bucinavich there. Still in the Rangers, so uh, not too updated. All right, guys, we got two more packs here. Really need a goalie in this one. Otherwise... 
going to be tough for the team. Um, Jordan Greenway there. We get a power forward. Blake Wheeler, one of those red cards. It actually feels a little thicker. This is like just a really sharp card. I kind of like, it makes the player stand out more when the background's a different color. And then we actually get another Winnipeg Jet there. Um, sorry, I'm having troubles grabbing it. In Mark Shifley. So I think we could have a whole Jets line. Shifley, Wheeler, and Connor. Still no goalie. <laughs> one last pack. So like I was saying, we might have to rock like a 45 junior just because, you know, that's the roll of the dice, the luck with the cards. Didn't get a goalie. I know last year too there was a, a few cards where like there was three different players on them. That really helped us out in building the team. Ooh, okay, so we get a good player there. Braden Shen. Alright, that's not who I was looking at. Um, but Braden Shen will help us out. And what is this? Uh, photo finish, Sidney Crosby. Crosby played in his 1000th NHL game on February 20th. 3-2 win. Tim Hortons Collector Series. Oh shit, okay, I was looking at the back, I was like, this honestly isn't the best looking card. Um, that's because this is the front of the card, so that's a really nice one, I think. Photo finish, Cindy Crosby, maybe that one has some value, no idea. Um, and then finally, David Pasternak there, um, another good forward. So, this team is going to be a lot of forward. It's going to be interesting for sure to see how this team does. Alright guys, we're now going to sell this team in NHL 22. Arizona Coyotes are the worst team in the game at 79 overall, but... I feel like a Timmy's team doesn't really fit in the Central Division, whereas Buffalo, 81 overall, is the second worst team now. Surprised they're still 81, honestly, without Jack Eichel, but I feel like Atlantic Division makes a lot more sense for Tim Hortons. There's probably more Tim Hortons in Ontario than anywhere else. You've also got a few Canadian teams there for them to go up against. So, we're going to sub out Buffalo here. Honestly, the Timmy's team isn't as high rated as I expected, but it is because our goalies are so, so terrible, as you guys will see here in just a minute or so. So, Canada Tim Hortons is the team name. Tim Hortons Arena, top players there. Crosby, Dreis, Hell, Patty Kane. Like, our forwards are stacked. Defense will be okay. The goaltending, though, like I said, we didn't pull a goalie in our pack, so we got to pay for it. And they're absolutely terrible. So, 83 overall team rating there. Tied with Detroit, which actually makes us lowest rated team in the division. But, like I said, I still have high hopes for this team just because of how good the forwards are. All right, guys, so I just finished ending the lines for this team. They're a little bit strange. Definitely one of the more unique teams I've ever made. I've also simmed some of the preseason games here. We're currently 3 1 and 2, which isn't too bad. Crosby there has 11 points in 6 games, averaging almost 2 points a night. Pretty happy with that. Next, I'll show you the lines. They're kind of insane. So look at that, guys. First three forward lines, our entire top nine is getting plus five chemistry. We've got Kane, Crosby, Pasternak on the first line. I feel like Crosby's sort of the face of Tim Hortons in Canada. Him, McKinnon, both. I'm glad I pulled Crosby, so he's our first line center. He's also going to be our captain. Second line here, you got Ranton, Bergeron, Connor, Shifley, Dreisaitl, Wheeler is the third line. Again, plus five for every single line. It's ridiculous. Like, these guys are going to go off. Even the fourth line is really solid. Brzezinevich, Larkin, Forsberg get a plus one. Like, that's honestly such a nasty fourth line. Now, defensively, it gets a little bit worse. We've got Ekblad, McAvoy on the top pair, which is a really good top D pair. We then actually have two forwards, Lindholm and Shen, on the second D pair. Only a minus two for two forwards isn't that bad. And then we've got Ty Smith and Jordan Greenway on the bottom pair. Getting zero chemistry, which is actually pretty solid, I think, for one of them being a forward. I would have had Smith on the second D pair, but you can see it actually makes the chemistry a lot worse. Plus... He's lower rated than Shen and Lindholm, so this might be the better bet. Now, in terms of goaltending, like I said, we didn't pull a single goalie in our pack, so I'm rocking the two worst goalies in the game. Um, Olivier Leclerc here plays for Armada in the queue, and then Ronan Grady, I hope I said that name right, plays for the Prince Albert Raiders in the WHL, 45 and 47 overall, respectively. Um, hopefully, our forwards are scoring a lot, because I'm thinking we'll be winning a lot of, you know, 9-8 games. In terms of the special teams, they're crazy, too. So, both power plays get a plus 5. Passionate, Crosby, Kane, Dreisel, Shifley, just all forwards on the first one. Uh, the second one there is also almost all 90 plus. You can see we've got Wheeler, Ekblad um, on the back end. Both plus fives though, so like the power play should be insane. Same with the four man power play. You can see we're getting plus five for both. Um, again, like this team's going to be really solid, I think, even though they're only 83 overall. I feel like they'll make up for how bad the goaltending is. Um, Bergeron, Forsberg, McAvoy, Ekblad get a plus three for the first PK, so. Should be able to shut it down. Um, even the three-man there, we're actually able to get two zeros, the way it worked out. I've actually got Forsberg playing D on the one. Um, and actually, two, I didn't realize. We have two scratched players. I was thinking I pulled 20 cards, 20 players, but we had to add two goalies. So we actually only have 18 skaters. The two extra guys are Tyler Toffoli, Alexi Lafreniere. Lafreniere there, just lowest-rated forward. And Toffoli didn't give us as good chemistry on defense as Jordan Greenway. So that's kind of why those two ended up being the odd men out. Again, I'm really excited to see how this team does. Like... I don't think I've ever had a team with such good forwards, all game plus 5 cam, 
but at the same time, terrible goaltending, and then the defense is just whatever it is. It's average. As I mentioned, Crosby, of course, is wearing that C, face of Tim Hortons, with Bergeron wearing an A, as I feel like all the captains had to be Canadian. And then I've also got Aaron Eckblad wearing an A, because not only is he Canadian, but he's from my hometown. Uh, he's from Windsor. I feel like we've probably gone to the same Tim Hortons, so I'll just throw him in as one of the captains. I'm going to show you guys the ratings here as we're matched up against Ottawa. So offense, defense, goaltending. We've got 100 offense, no surprise there. 93 defense and 27 goaltending. That's like the literally the lowest rated goaltending you can have there, 27. Also too, I'll show you guys the jerseys right now, home away and alternate. Uh, you already saw the logo was just like the red Maple Leaf because uh, Tim Hortons has that on some of their stuff. Right there is the away jersey and then right there is the alternate. I went with like the red, brown, and cream as the colors. That's kind of the colors you always see when you look at like a coffee cup for instance. So I guess we'll start singing here guys and very curious to see how this team does. All right, guys, we're on the trade deadline. I knew this would be a weird season. We're currently 29, 29, and two, so uh, exactly 500 there. You know, a lot of people say goalies don't matter in the sim, and I more or less agree with them. I feel like a low-rated goalie matters a lot less than like you know low-rated defensemen forwards, but I feel like there's definitely a certain point where it does matter. 60 points. So how many points do we need for wildcard spot? We're 10 points back. I don't know, maybe we can get it done. Crosby's out in the year, 79 and 60. I'm sure when I look at the end, we'll probably be like, you know, one of the top teams in goals for, as well as having one of the worst goals against. If we go on a crazy run here though, maybe we'll make the playoffs. And look at this, Boston just made a big move, trading two first round picks for Matias Eklund. We'll see if that pays off for them. Wow, and another big trade. Columbus gets Jonathan Taze, Eric Gustin, Cal Dahan. Chicago gets Kent Johnson and Tarasov. So, kind of weird, Chicago gets Seth Jones and how close is the game, Jonathan Days. And the regular season's now over, guys. Unfortunately, finished the negative record there, 37, 41, and four. Just goes to show, it doesn't matter how good your forwards are, you're not gonna go far without decent goaltending, and I feel like that was proven in this video. I can't believe, like, I thought, honestly, the forwards were good enough. They could've made up for the goaltending, especially if, you know, the goaltending doesn't matter as much in the sim, but uh, apparently it does. So, let's see, we finished with 78 points. Karazi went off, 106. Uh, we weren't last in the NHL. You can see we actually beat the Red Wings there. One point shy of the Panthers. Surprised they simmed so poorly. They also did better than the Devils, Canucks, Kraken. Same as the Sharks. One back of the Flames. Uh, better than the Predators. Same as the Blackhawks. So, yeah, we were like a lower-end team, but we weren't like the worst in the NHL or anything like that. I'll take a look and see just how good everyone did, especially the goaltenders. I'm curious to see how well they did. So, Crosby, face of Timmy. He went off for us. He did his part. 106 there. Can't ask for much more than that from the captain. Patty Kane, 94, Bergeron, 89, same with Pashnak, the two Bruins. After that, we have Ranchin, 68, Connor, 62, Dreisel, only 60, but he was playing third line center because that was the only way to get plus five in all three lines. He had some power play time, though, too. Yeah, 12 and a half minutes a night. Dreisel definitely needs to be getting more minutes than that. So, what, I think seven players there, 60 plus, Wheeler, 50, more than Shifley, surprisingly. Um, defenseman there, not a total lot of points, but that's all right. Their job wasn't really to score on this team. We had guys taking care of that. So, the goalies. How bad did they do? Oh my goodness. So our starter, uh, 0.879 to 3.68, which like honestly, I've seen about that bad um, beforehand. So like considering the fact he's actually a 51 now, I uh, started at 47, not terrible. The backup though, 0.854 and a 4.5. <laughs> you can't be averaging four and a half goals a night. That's just so bad. Even like the 3.68 is also really bad too, but Honestly, considering how good our forwards are, I'm surprised they couldn't make up for like that one extra goal he's letting in a night. 2.68, I feel like our team's probably one of the best in the NHL. So I'm surprised, yeah, like that one goal um, was, you know, such a huge difference. We'll take a look in the entire league. Crosby wins the Art Ross, be kind of nice. Jack Eichel on Vegas, are you kidding me? 115, 69 assists, nice. McDavid there. Art Crosby did finish third, 106. Okay, so um, pretty cool to see. Take a look at goals here. McDavid, 59, actually beats out Ovechkin defensively here. Jeff Petrie with 80 for the Montreal Canadiens. You don't see that all the time. Uh, goaltenders, Linus Allmark there, 44 wins. Looks to have the best stats. And rookie skaters, Cole Caulfield, 58. They don't sound down the AHL. Uh, Trevor Zegers there, Lucas Raymond. In real life right now, I think it's going to go to one of the Red Wings, Raymond or Cider. I'm so, so pumped uh, to finally have a Calder winner. Now look at the team standings here. Just kind of curious to see where we finish the entire league as well, like I said. Goals for, goals against. I feel like we gotta be one of the better goals for teams, but also we're gonna be one of the worst in terms of goals against. So, uh, 25th in the entire league. We did better there than, what, seven teams? Like, that's not terrible. Um, well, I'll check the goals for next. 
We're first place in goals for, and we missed the playoffs. But I mean, Tampa Bay Lightning there, second in goals for, they also missed. That's kind of funny. Um, now goals against here, we actually had the worst goals against. So yeah, um, kind of as I predicted, we were the best scoring the team in the league, and we also got scored on the most. So um, I thought that kind of would have evened out. We might have been a wild card team. Unfortunately, though, not the case. Uh, 78 points there, just not going to be in the playoffs. But uh, still pretty cool to see. I'll quickly send the playoffs and see if maybe won any awards. And check this out, guys. Draft results are in. Columbus picking first overall via the Chicago Blackhawks. There's actually a really good chance Chicago wins the lottery this year. Luckily for them, their pick's protected. But then Columbus gets an unprotected 2023 pick, which could be Carver Dart or Matt V. Michkov, which would be absolutely insane. Uh, we actually dropped down from 8 to 9 there. New York Rangers won the Stanley Cup. Take a look at the rest of the awards there. I guess we can also take a quick look at the playoff tree. See their road to the cup. Beat the Leafs in six, Penguins in six, Sanders in six, and then the Vegas Golden Knights there in seven. Again, having Jack Eichel on that team clearly is huge for the Sim. So Rangers there, cup. They also won the Presence Trophy. I didn't actually realize that. Uh, Golden Knights and Rangers there. Francis Campbell, Prince of Wales. Eichel Art Ross, we mentioned that. He also got the Hart Trophy. Jeff Petrie, James Norris, Ehlers, Lady Bing. Cole Caulfield, Calder, Panarin, Conn Smythe, Samsonov, Vesna, also won the William Jennings there with Vanacek, Edler, Bill Masterton, Ottawa coach Jack Adams, I mean if they made the playoffs I feel like he'd win in real life, Crosby got the Selkie on our team, that's pretty cool, so we got one award, I'm happy with that, Eichel also won Ted Lindsay there, and then of course McDavid and Maurice Richard, so Jack Eichel on the Vegas School Knights seems to be a difference maker in the sim, we'll see whether or not that's the case in real life once he's back and healthy. Uh, really push them over the edge. I really do think he will. Like, he's just such a big addition to that team. If you guys want to know more thoughts on that trade, check out my uh, Eichel trade sim video. But that's me, guys, for this one. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you guys are not subscribed yet, make sure to sub button down below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.